Hi everyone, welcome back to the Linkscale channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom field that captures the email domain for accounts. This is incredibly useful and helpful for grouping, filtering and segmenting records based on the organizations or businesses they belong to. It's also especially useful if you're working with uh, ABM or you know, need more precise targeting uh, with your CRM. And as with our previous video, we'll also be using this domain field in the future uh, for account matching with leads. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything set up to get the most out of this custom field. So let's jump in. So now in Salesforce, we're gonna build another custom formula field it's going to be a formula return type equals text. And just like you're seeing here, we labeled on the field as a domain, uh, same with the API name. And then the formula itself, it's going to be very, very similar, if not equal to what we displayed in our previous video. So it's going to be a bunch of if statements that will help us exclude everything that's before the domain on a website. So, you know, we have uh, HTTP, we have uh, www, we also have, you know, HTTPS, you know, with a bunch of slashes, we want to remove all of this and want to get the domain from the website. Please, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach this uh, formula to the descriptions below and you just have to copy and paste unless you use a different API name for website, which is very unlikely, but you should be good with just copy and pasting this. We try to isolate all the cases where people would only include HTTP, HTTPS, um, www, uh, www without the dot or with the dot. <laughs> And yeah, we come up with this huge formula. If there are other use cases, you can include that in the logic as well. But this should be very, very straightforward. Just copy and paste, it should work, should work instantly. When you're done, hit save. And this is how the domain field should work. We have the domain field right here. It extracts the domain from the website. So just like we said, if it uses HTTP, it will give us the same outcome. If you only use HTTP without the www, it works the same. And if we have, I don't know, HTTPS, is the same. So let's add the full website. You can combine this with a few automations that can uh, help you format the website the way you like or use validation rules uh, to look to make them look right. Unfortunately, the, the logic <laughs> is not uh, bulletproof, but if you include an A in here, it's not gonna work correctly. So what I recommend using is include a logic using a flow or use a validation rule that will trigger if the beginning of the website is not as expected with HTTPS, HTTP, always ask for having the www as well. That should solve most of the problems with the domain field. If they happen, I, I'd say it's unlikely that things go wrong here because usually people copy and paste from the URL from your browser to Salesforce. But, you know, just to make sure things are going and run smooth, combine this solution with a validation rule or a flow 
that can automate a fix for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and in our next episode, we're gonna bring how to match leads with accounts now that we have a common denominator called domain, okay? If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more technical videos from Ninscale. Thank you.